So uh, we've recently completed the uh, randomized phase two study uh, comparing NIVO-AP versus NIVO-AP serotactic body radiation therapy and advanced uh, Merkel cell carcinoma. It was completed last December and uh, basically we're presenting at ESMO the results of it. So the study was designed to uh, test two things. One would be to uh, see if CTOA4 blockade can improve upon the current standard of care, which is a uh, uh, single agent PD-1 blockade. And the second question is if the immunogenic effects of serotactic body radiation therapy could further improve cancer immunotherapy. So we enrolled 50 patients into two arms. Uh, arm A, basically, uh, we treated with nivolumab 240 milligrams every two weeks. And and uh, ipilimumab one milligram per kilogram every six weeks. And arm B, we uh, use the same uh, immunotherapy regimen together with uh, serotactic body radiation therapy to 24 grain three fractions uh, delivered in week two. The primary endpoint was uh, objective response rate. And the outcome has been excellent. Uh, when you look at the uh, patients who have never been treated with any systemic therapy, uh, we had 22 out of 22 patients responding either achieving complete responses or partial responses. 41% uh, of those patients actually uh, achieved complete responses. Uh, among the patients who have previously progressed on single agent uh, PD-1 blockade, uh, NIVO AP or, uh, was, a was able to salvage uh, approximately 31% of the patients. In terms of the toxicity profiles, we observed um, grade three or four toxicities approximately in 36% of the patients, which is quite close to what was observed with randomized phase three studies in non-small cell lung cancer and mesothelioma. Um, and basically it was quite well tolerated. So overall, uh, we observed an outstanding response rate in both first-line setting and salvage setting with manageable, manageable toxicity profiles. So we think um, nivo could be considered as uh, a therapeutic options in these uh, clinical settings.